He's got one side. Hey, man, can I kill the deer? He's chasing. We are we're back. We set up in a stand and we have a open field right in front of us. It's a big hill. It goes over and then there's private land. And behind us we have the same setup and we're just sitting right along this creek so the wind will just drag our scent down to the creek. And we just jumped a, a buck coming in here. But we have several rubs and several scrapes around us and it's only nine o'clock so we got in here pretty quick scouted around and seen a lot of deer for how long we were in here so hopefully we'll get it done and dirty today or if not we'll be back here tonight all right y'all we we are back on the tree stand and it is 407 we got here kind of late, but it's hot, so it's about 70 degrees. It's the afternoon of November 7th. We went home, we ate some KFC, I took a nap, Andrew cleaned up, watched some hunting videos. New land, um, or new to us actually. But this land looks like a farm. It used to be a farm. There's, there's cow prints everywhere still, so. Hopefully it's less pressured and we get a big buck that comes out. Stay tuned. You didn't put your arrow in, what are you doing? I'm f***ing winded. <laughs> Me and Mara got a little bit of a cough that we can't... That's also why we got down this morning.
You got some glass cleaner? I'm gonna clean up this lens a little bit. This thing working? Mic working? Mic check, mic check. All right, well, it is the next day. Um, me and Marvin didn't go this morning, which we were kind of excited to, but I forgot that I had to do some house stuff. But by the time we got done with that, it was like 11 o'clock. It's like six degrees out here. It's like really nice. So, uh, but yeah, yesterday when we went out in the morning to go scouting, we had our stands on like that. We were like, dang, we really, it would be nice to have a saddle because we get on some deer, obviously. But yeah, so we're at Marvin's house. It says they were mowing the grass off and try to hopefully talk fast enough to get this. But uh, when we had the stands, we were gone on a deer and we had to put these big stands down and like try to work around the deer and not be super loud. So yesterday we were talking and we were like, all right, we should probably make the investment and get saddles and hop on the hype. So we went to our local warehouse, uh, sportsman's warehouse and picked up some saddles. So we both got the Hawk Helium Hammock Hunting Saddles. We both got that. They only had one platform. So Marvin got the platform and it's the Hawk platform. And then we got this step platform. So it should go right on our step, I'm guessing, or something like that. So we're gonna figure that out. And then we're gonna go- Everything's Hawk. We're gonna go out and shoot and uh, do a test run and set up and see how it is because we have never used a saddle and I'm kind of scared of heights anyway so I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about hanging from a tree but I ain't that scared. We'll try it. We got this one in particular just because one we had them local and I didn't want to have to order one and two it comes with everything I'm guessing. Damn the fancy bit carabiners. And that is. And you got rope more rope. All right. Crack yours open and see if we can figure this out. Popping like this? Yeah. You can open it. I think. So this covers up here. What are the instructions? Did they pull the instructions here? I don't know. It's in there. All right, while Andrew figures all that out, I'm gonna open this up and see what it looks like. that thing. Go on the stand right here. Oh, you take the sticks off. Take yeah. Slip it on, put the pins in, that's it. So that's right the top stick. Mm. Figure it out. Alright, if you guys ever get this. Okay. So these have these metal tabs right here. And on your saddle there's a little little gaps in between each one. So you just slide the metal tabs through it. That's all you do. Have it on. These scissors suck. Lock green. Lock green. So how does this like not slip? No. I'm gonna open this one and show y'all. This video is pretty long, so. Oh, this is an upgrade from that, though. I'm always really gonna put stuff together. Do the difference. Put that one. One more, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Alright, our camera died. Now we're just kind of got it, the idea down. Now we're just kind of putting everything where we think we should. And this can go on the shelf. All right. So we got it all figured out, sort of. Uh, we think we got it figured out. Now we're going to take our bows, grab some arrows, go to some public land, climb up a tree, and uh, shoot from it. And set up like how we would tomorrow morning, because that's what we plan on doing it tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go give her a test run. So we'll catch you guys out in the, in the deer woods. All right, so, so we're out here at a uh, piece of public that we used to come hunt when we were younger. Um, basically, like, it's like 
Actually, this is the first public land that we ever hunted without, like, you know, dad being here and stuff like that, and it's all on our own. And then we got, we got Austin's target. But shout out to Austin and Deanna for letting us borrow his target because we're gonna shoot this. We got this big field right here, and then we got a whole bunch of trees that we go in, and we're gonna saddle up and give her a try. You gotta get used to it, like wearing the paper. Yeah, I know. I can feel it, like my hips moving when I walk. What the hell just happened? I don't know. I've never had that happen to me before. <laughs> Did you come with? No. <laughs> it just slipped out. Come under me. <laughs> Shit. No, not like that. What the hell? <laughs> Did it work? I guess. Is it recording? Alright, well, it's windy. The mic's on there. We don't want to go down there and grab it, but I'm going to sling a couple arrows and then. Marvin's gonna film the target basically and then we had this go for running. But now so far so good. Kinda scary, not gonna lie. The wind's picking up so hopefully you guys can hear me. But yeah, we're gonna act like we see a freaking deer. Alright, first try, here we go. The way the tree is rocking with the wind, like the whole, like you move with it, because obviously you're connected to it. So I'm gonna just pretend Andrew's a deer. I'm just gonna pretend that you're a deer and I'm so Alright, well that's gonna do it for this video. Oh jeez. Um we went hunting yesterday. Uh, we didn't get like too much deer activity on camera, but uh yeah we went out and got saddles and hopefully it's a lot more efficient. But yeah, this is that week I was talking about in the last video where we all have it off for the whole week to go chase some deer. So we're gonna be back in sand tomorrow and uh, hopefully we can get on some deer. Hopefully with this new investment in saddles and off the new camera and all that. And we've never hunted on a Tuesday. So that might be even different too. So I can move myself up to it too. Ready for another ride? Yeah.